All right, maybe before leaving, <laughs> we should go to the guy, to the dwarf. I mean, maybe, just maybe, you know, before forgetting completely about it. This guy, right? Is the deed done? Um, <laughs> we killed the Tenari who have come for our reward. I have misjudged the cult's power. I never believed that I'm capable of freeing the Tenari. You have destroyed it for now. Eventually it will be able to return to this plane. Rest easy, my friends. You did all that you could do. You saved the sword coast from a demon. Here is your reward. Farewell. Farewell, Hergen. Oh, he's gone. So what? Oh, we got uh, the knee capper. Or the capper, as it is affectionately known in dwarven circles, is rumored to have been forged by Klangedin himself. He gave it to a small clan of homeless dwarves that they might carve a place for themselves amongst the giants and ogres in their area. The hammer has been passed from hero to hero, occasionally finding its way into non-dwarven hands. Right. Yeah, okay. Nice weapon. Possibly a little bit too late. Alright, let's go then. I must talk to you in private. These are troubled times. Alright, I was trying to go shop for some potions and I actually have met Tomo Tamoko. Uh, she's uh, a farmer or still a servant, accomplice, whatever, of Sarevok and she says I apologize for not being more open, but these are troubled times. If I could be permitted to speak for a moment, I believe I have something you would want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other. I don't know. Um, for, well, she's not, she's not saying her name, so I would note whom I am speaking. I do not take candy from strangers, as it were. You may call me Tamoko. I do not presume to be your friend or even someone you should trust, but fate demands that I place myself at your disposal. I have details worth listening to, and again, I must ask if you are interested in, in a trade of sorts. Do you wish to hear what I have to tell? E yeah, alright. I shall explain myself in further detail when I have time. Until then, I have but one thing to thing to say. The one who claims to heal Duke Elton's sickness is also the one who breathes it. <laughs> Likely there have been signs that suggest this to you, but none have said it so plain. No doubt you have the wherewithal uh, to follow through on it. Uh, your very nature gives you above average competence. Gorion's tutelage could only have enhanced this. Yeah, you're late to the party, woman. <laughs> What are these options? Your simple shadowing has given you that name. And I'm not impressed. I have cut those familial ties. But as your family shed its ties to you, I think not. I think you feel the pull and I think you have gone where it has led. Ah, again, you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things that are strength incarnate. Uh, there is love of life, there is fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death <laughs> would have a strong pull. <laughs> Indeed, I just had a um, strong image of the Adams family. <laughs> just <laughs> like that. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know? Yeah. We've already been through this, Tomoko. I'm sorry, but you're late. Let's uh, let's try her. Who hates me? What have I done to deserve such hatred? What have you done? You exist, and cows will be sown. 
That is the way it was intended, though I hope to change it. I must go, and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I will wait near the Flaming Fist headquarters. We shall speak again, and I shall have something to ask of you. What is this? What is this? Why are these quests so... Uh, Um, the, what's the word? So messy, messy. It's the word. I'm almost a little bit curious, but halpazer, halpazer. Um. Oh well, well. If I'm not mistaken, that be a lock of nymphs hair. A luckier being there cannot be. Then they who have gained the favor of such a creature, would you be willing to part with a small portion of that sample? I could pay, say, 500 gold. Sure. Hmm. I don't really need money. Take it. Oh, come on. And it's less clutter in the inventory. Um, Show me your things. I must talk to you in private. These are troubled times. All right, back with the uh, Tamoko. I see you have sought me out, as I thought you would. I have things that must be said, things that are important to us both. I have but one condition to my discourse, and you must agree before I speak. I promise I seek, and I will accept no less. Okay. Why should I make promises for information on her? My promise will not harm you, though ignoring it can. Indeed, my information can only benefit. You will gain if you did not know it before, and you will gain if you knew it, it but needed it confirmed. The choice, I pose, is the only option. You in agreement? Fine. Thank you, here is my request, though it may seem quite odd. I charge you to defeat Sarevok, man behind all your walls. You must destroy his plans and stop his scheme uh, in its tracks. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in this path he follows. You must do this for me and you must also leave him his life. I will, I will help him to live his life as a man. Not as the god he thinks he can be. But I read his diary and I always said that you were the real one girl for him. I always said this. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can choose this. What kind of request is this? Um... Well, I do not see how such a thing is possible. He has sought to destroy me and I have only responded in kind. Saravok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are of particular interest because of your shared origins with him. You are a possible rival, one of the few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, your family. I see this is startling news though likely you have suspected as much. Does this disturb you? It should not. I, I think I already knew this. I should have met you before, woman, again. Monsters are often closer to us than we like to think. You are siblings and the paths open to him are yours as well, though he has been racing down his from his earliest days. You had Gorion to guide you, did you not? Sarevok had no one. He draws his strength from his hatred, from the thought of rising above those he knows to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest and uh, that is why he must be defeated but not killed. He serves another but does not know it. Divine blood. Uh, yeah, I know divine blood, but he serves another meaning, meaning uh, the god. Our dad? 
the child becomes the father or uh, desperately wishes so. The blood pulls, calls and demands. The wise Alaundo did say unto the ages. Yeah, that's the one that was in the library there. <laughs> the prophecy uh, guy. That the Lord of Murder would perish and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sore in their passage, but to what purpose? You have felt the hunger and uh, heard uh, the offerings of power. Sarabok thinks they are true and so he seeks a senseless war. Are they untrue? And the slaughter of a scale so grand as to defy description, he thinks it will launch him to, to what? Possibly he's right, but I cannot lose him to this. Yeah, the other chick is dead, by the way, I killed her, so you, 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 you have your way <laughs> open if you really want it. But wasn't she an accomplice to him? Why do you oppose him when you so clearly care for his life? Sarevok is, I share Sarevok's company and would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. Girl, no. It doesn't work like that. You go find another guy that is decent. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> he feels... Ah, I do not believe he will survive his plan. It is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen and that he will become more than he is. I do not share this belief. Gods are not known for bequitting their powers, especially if they have foreseen their deaths. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought once as well. Whatever he is, I would keep him here, grounded firmly among those of us that are all flesh. But, really, can you even do this? Game, don't trick me. I shall strive to stop me, stop him and will do what I can to see that he leaves. I thank you, Saramoko can be redeemed as could you, should you one day pursue the same path. For now I shall speak of secrets to aid you. Duke Elton may be saved, but Duke Enter Silvershield has been killed outright. The murderers have acted with anonymity, but I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellar Return if you have already been. There you will find Sliz and Christine, uh, yeah, they are dead, two unsavory beings that revel in the violence Sarawak allows them to commit. They are no more than animals in a human guise, even by the standard of the company they keep. Kill them and you shall know much of the plan. If you do not know where the underseller is located, then go to the sewers, you will find an entrance there. Yeah, bye. There is another. Atop the Iron Throne base is a woman whose, whose influence is a poison in Sarabok's soul. If she were removed, I killed her. <laughs> are you tr are you playing me? <laughs> If she were removed, I knew he would listen to reason, to my pleading. Sitandria is her name, and she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Saramok's favor as well, though she is content if he self-destructs, so long as she profits in the deed. I must go, he cannot know I have helped you. <coughs> mm. <coughs> oh, good. Our elders of often <laughs> sorry. Our elders often told us <laughs> about monsters and prepared us to face evil sooner or later. Yet I can hardly imagine that someone can be ready for the horror you have gone through. Saravok, the man who killed your foster father and did everything to kill you as well, is your half brother. Evil cannot come closer than that. Is that why you are so quiet and sad? No, I'm thinking how the hell do I not kill him? I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking, what if for once in the whole game my charisma score actually matters, Kivan? Imagine that. 
Yes, it is disturbing. I lived for so long thinking myself an orphan and alone in the world. Now I've found out who my real father is and that I have a stepbrother. Neither discovery cheered me up. My friend, do not lose sight of hope. I was being ironic, Kivan. It's, it's so lost on you. Irony. I lived long surrounded by family and then I lost. Oh, I lost them all. Yours is a better story. You are finding your family after many years of not knowing that you had any. Maybe you will find soulmates among the other balls spawn. Someone you will be proud to call your brother or sister. You seem to be able to conquer your ominous heritage when not the others. I don't know. If there were a thousand tomokos, tamokos for each one of them, then we probably would win, but not otherwise. Uh, or maybe I can somehow influence their lives. You're right, Kiva. The bounce block does not mean that we must all be like him. Watch me going evil in Baldur's Gate 2 now. Wouldn't that be epic? I recognize the sparkle of hope in your eyes, Jan. I am glad that your melancholy passed. <sighs> Poor guy. Even thinks that other people are as deep as him. I don't think Jean is that deep. He's too young to be that deep. So, she's done now, right? Okay, see you later. I must talk to you in private. These are troubled times. I was um, <laughs> coming back here and. <laughs> I'm all going to see you again. <laughs> Hello again, Jean. I fear this time I have not come to speak and must take up armors against you. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? You have you have done what you must, I suppose. Salvoko knows of my treachery, you know. He has forsaken me, left me to die in your path. He must fight to regain his trust, his attention. I told you to get another man. <laughs> And so I stand before you, knowing that if I defeat you, he will continue his plans elsewhere and I shall lose him. And if you defeat me, you shall go on to kill him. He will not yield to either of us. I, I have no choice. Fine, we are already fighting, just... Um, what a woman. <laughs> it's whistling. Your brother must be something out of an ordinary to inspire such deep feelings. Well, you, you can always make another choice. Do not throw your life away. There may always be choice, but the choosing has become unbearable. I have but two duties and both leave me little hope. No, young one, I must face you now. <sighs> She's talking with Koran, <laughs> really. Well, let's see if I will not harm your words. Uh, she's making me having a headache. Um, I will not harm you, you are not my enemy. Must, I stand before you, I block your path. I am an obstacle that holds you back. You will free, you will fight me. You will free? You will fight me. You will free me, possibly. Yeah, it leads to nothing. <laughs> if you would throw your life away, then you are already dead. If uh, that is your choice, then you do not need me. You, you are not so alike after all. You would not have hesitated for an instant, perhaps. Perhaps it is more than his blood that makes him the way he is. I have been a fool. Go, your path is clear and I wish you well. Oh, we managed to convince her. I can't believe it. 
One last word in passing, beware of the blindness of those who would follow and the damnable lure of those who would lead. A fool I was and others are still ready yourself for the fire to come. Uh, she's speaking about the other allies, allies that are in there, maybe, I'm just saying. Uh, can you help us with this? No! <laughs> Not at all! She's really gone. So, do we have to uh, undo the traps again now? Hey, go! I suppose we do, right? Yeah, we probably have to. Yes. And then we have to use Kagen. You know, I'm gonna disarm them because it's just better. If I can do it. Or maybe we're just gonna stay behind because the, I think that's too close and I, he will trigger. No, alright. So you archery stay behind. And we're gonna use Kagan to get in. <laughs> because Kagan is the real protagonist now, isn't he? Ultimately, I will prevail, and a new era will be born unto the realms. <laughs> um, uh, your evil ways end here tonight. This god stays dead, and you will join him. Face me! Face the new lord of murder! Oh no, I think we triggered... We triggered that in, in, insane trap. Um, no guys. Yo guys, you have to stay behind here. And then, you know what, a bit closer. Our Kivan, our... our Koran, I mean. Ah, I should have changed it before. You, Koran, are going to attack this guy. But there is another guy, right? It's not only the two of them. Right? <laughs> I always love how that arrows just dispels everything on the target. That's these arrows are worth so much. And now you can use something else, such as uh, maybe fire arrows. And you, maybe? What do you have here? Plus two, yes. Um, not like we're gonna keep them or anything, so. Um. Ah, yes. I forgot about uh, these potions. I just bought them. Can... I don't remember. Can Branwen... No, she can. Branwen, you... Can you drink this? Indeed. What else can you do here? I'm not gonna risk hold. You can cast that on yourself, I suppose. Or not! 
<laughs> I love Tadzok, you have nowhere to run now. My vow will be fulfilled at last. The Ariana Melamine is our of blood is ours. Cool. Uh, I will cast... Oh, I, I skip dialogue. I will cast you into the abyss where you belong. Yeah, we know what he's talking about. I'm sorry I skipped the dialogue, but uh, I'm thinking about the combat already. Not... Uh, try this. I bought some of those too. And then... Uh, yeah. You are... You, you use this, I see. Well, even if we lose one person, I'm alright. He's still casting. I can't believe he, that he took so much time to cast. But by the way, uh, the, the game ends, so you never manage to pick up this loot, do you? It's probably the same loot as always. No, Kagan. Kagan sacrificed his life for all of us. But this is Tadok, right? Yeah. So, um, Kivan is fighting, fighting somebody else. <laughs> Why these people spawn just there? Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you can cast this again, you know? Uh, is anybody... Poison? I don't know how much longer I can go on. You finished all the potions? Come on, not possible. I, mm. I know I have more. Ganwen can resist. Ah, oh, yeah, because he's dead. Mm. Mm. Do you have anything cool you can do? Yeah, polymorphing is not going to work on him. Uh, summon the spider. Uh, oh, Ramon, do you want to do something? To him? Yeah, she's all defensive, so... Hold that will not work. Do you want to try any potion or something in particular? I thought for a moment that the game was continuing, but 
Well, we lost again, which is fine. Um, we lost uh, our protagonist and the bravest dwarf in the whole of Baldur's Gate. I am also considering uh, the game finished. I can uh, move on to Baldur's Gate 2. And that's about it. I hope there will be the only hope I have because I don't really like the combat in this game and I think it will be similar in Baldur's Gate 2. Magic and combat, the whole system, it's not my style, but I hope that there will be um, a better story and maybe the lore will be explained better and uh, maybe the leveling will be better, maybe uh, the characters will be better. I really hope for the characters to be good because I enjoy reading the dialogue more than anything, especially since I don't really like uh, the combat, then everything for me is gonna be about the story and the companions at this point. I enjoy exploring in the in the game, in this game, and I hope in Baldur's Gate too. Yeah, exploring I think will always be a main thing. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm, you should never get hyped for anything in life, whether it is games or real life or whatever, because then you end up disappointed. But I really hope there's gonna be more dialogue with the companions and more story. Maybe something, some special twist or maybe something relevant about the lore. This game was uh, okay, I enjoyed it. It's not my go-to game if I want to have fun with combat, absolutely, I have to be honest, but... Oh, that's the, that drawing is cool. I wish I could see it all. Instead, just in a corner. Oh, look how cool the drawings are. The only thing that I really hated they completely hate it because it's okay if you don't like combat or if you don't like the story. Everyone has his own preferences. But really, that werewolf fight and that whole part of the DLC was pretty disappointing. Because the whole DLC was um, really nice. Uh, but uh, the part with the village and the werewolves, maybe I just wanted it to be about Balduran instead of just a bunch of werewolves and that there was there was nothing you could do with the villagers um, i felt like i could do nothing the boss uh, was uh, i could not understand what damaged him but that's the least thing the least thing the last important thing because i thought that maybe if you could solve some quests with the werewolves, the good werewolves, so the inhabitants of the village, maybe you, they could give you some hint or they could give you, I don't know, what about all that belladonna, uh, that herb that was just, that, that part of the DLC feels, um, I don't know, like something is missing, this drawing is cool, uh, and that, that's about it. And I'm not crazy about the lore, I'm not, uh, I was not crazy about the story. Um, the majority of the interaction between companions and uh, you has been added by the mod, I'm pretty sure. So that was a great job, by the way, but it was not in the game originally. Yeah, otherwise it's the, the real fun, the most entertainment I've had in this game was actually dungeon crawling and exploring and meeting people while I was exploring. 
that was about it. Um, but the game was enjoyable. Um, no game can be perfect. <laughs> I mean, the, that's about it. I hope I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get directly to Baldur's Gate 2, but uh, I'm gonna take a break. But I'm. You probably won't see the break because just after this episode, there will be. Oh, look at the sketches down here, amazing! These are for the cover, maybe. Um, the main cover of the game. Cover. Yeah, you would not see, you will not see any gap between uh, this and Baldur's Gate 2. They will probably be in the same playlist. Just, uh, I will change the title of the playlist to, I don't know, uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Blind. And that's it. <laughs> 